After decades smoking cigarettes, Linda Sinkowitz switched to e-cigarettes about seven years ago. I don't cough. I don't get sick. It's, it's better, tastes better than a cigarette. She and her husband used to spend about $600 a month lighting up. The electronic version knocked that cost to $20 or $30. But that could soon change with a 92% tax proposed on the products. It would decimate the business. Any of the e customers would go online or out of state. Linda Barker of Vermont Vapor says if the bill goes through, they'll be forced to close their doors. We were the second company in the United States to make the liquid. It's a serious business to us. The company creates its own liquids. They say they use fewer chemicals and sell the product throughout the country. Barker says a liquid costing $20 now would go up to 38 if the tax is passed. A lot of smokers are low income. We have customers that have to wait for their paycheck to buy a $20 bottle of liquid. Why do you want to penalize those that income bracket? It, it doesn't make sense. Representative Bob Helm says the tax is unnecessary. Sometimes you can tax people to the point where it's, 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 a, it's not only abusive, but it it's just hurts, you, hurts the state, not doesn't it? Still, supporters of the tax say it could keep the products out of kids' hands. We're very concerned about the kids with a high youth uptick that they're just going to go to traditional cigarettes. In Castleton, Rachel Carr's WPTZ News Channel 5.